Hello everyone and welcome again to a new Virtufly video from our premises here in Barcelona, Spain. This is Oscar from the Virtufly Marketing and Sales Department. Today I want to start with a new series of videos about our three touchscreen flight panels. We are talking about the Solo GA, the new General Aviation flight panel, the Solo Airliner and the Airliner Radio Stack. Remember, the RS is for the physical radio stack attached to it. Now, in this video, I want to show you three different setups for all these flight panels. Many clients and possible customers ask us what are the different possibilities to fly these flight panels either at home, at a flight school, university, or anywhere where you want to enjoy these flight panels. And in this video, Whatever you are and whatever you want to do with our flight panels, we're going to show you the different setups you can use with them. Hello guys, this is the combo. Now, this is the box where the combo is at. It's a portable and versatile flight simulator. This setup is extremely good for any either domestic client, professional client, flight school, that wants to actually transport this combo from one place to another. Inside is a solo airliner, computer, TV screen, flight controls, and a complete turnkey solution for you to fly. I'm going to ask some help from the workshop and we're going to build it here on a table and we're going to show you what is inside this beautiful turnkey solution by Virtual Fly. Now let's do it. As you can see, the screen is behind the computer, which is in the middle of the screen, in between the screen and the flight panel itself. And you can adjust the height of the screen as you wish. So everything comes together as a pack as a, and as a turnkey solution. Once the screen is in place, it's time for it to turn it on. To turn on this combo flight simulator, just go to the computer, turn on the computer, wait for a sec and then behind the flight panel is the mini computer which actually runs the flight panel separately so you turn this computer as well and you have to wait a couple of minutes until everything is on and running as you can see a complete turnkey solution and plug and fly as all our products at virtual fly once you've turned on the computer and the internal computer for the flight panel you just have to choose what kind of aircraft you want to fly on the software itself, which can be P3D or X-Plane in this case. And then you have to choose the um, aircraft that you're going to fly as a solo airliner itself. Uh, you know a little bit about the solo airliner, but just to remind you, you have more than eight aircraft in this solo airliner, including single engine piston, twin engine piston, turboprop, and the Boeing 737. So, uh, in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and select the Cessna 172 here that I have pre-selected on the flight panel. And in a few seconds, we will have everything ready. The yoke is already connected, the TQ6, everything is already connected. So what you, you, you have to do is just get a seat and go ahead and fly. In this case, we are at Innsbruck Airport. So, as you can see here, this is a Cessna 172 flight panel. We're going to see a Beach Baron B58 flight panel, which is another example. And the difference, which is very interesting as well, the difference between the Solo Airliner and the Airliner RS is this radio stack that I mentioned. If you want to use it, you just have to press the transponder button and you have the radio stack here ready and complete to um, go. Now, as all our other flight panels, you have magnetic labels that you can use to change the setup from aircraft to aircraft. So these ones are the turboprop magnetic labels that we had ready as we were flying a turboprop aircraft. And if we're going to fly a single engine piston or twin engine piston aircraft, you just go with the default setting. That's it. This is the combo uh, airliner, 
let us know if you need any more information and you can visit our website or contact us at info at virtue-fly.com. Great for domestic use, great for professional use, great for education. This is used in STEM projects. We really think that it can be a very interesting and potential product for the aviation out there. So see you in the next video.